All right, guys, good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. I'm making this video so I do not ever have to answer this again uh, on the live stream. And I also figured it out to make it easy. You'll see a card come up uh, throughout this video up in the corner. Click that, it'll take you to the live stream channel. We're on every day, uh, well, market open to close. But yeah, let me talk about this. I wanna show you guys how to, we're gonna talk about reading the option pricing. And what I mean by this is like, here you see the Facebook option chain in March. I could go click a call and I have a chart of how the option is moved in price, just like, you know, the normal stock, but this is for the option, not the underlying, you know, here's how Facebook moved, but every option, you know, the pricing and the chart and activity with volume and everything, it moves a little different. So a lot of people have asked me, how do I get this on their platform or even Thinkorswim? I'm going to show you guys specifically how to do it on Thinkorswim and then how to even interpret these a little bit to get a better idea. So straight up. As you guys see, let's open up the Thinkorswim. Um, and first, and I'm gonna show you guys, cause I do this too, as you see right now, it's Facebook overlaid with something, but you know, this is a study, cause that's what I do here. And that's part of the interpretation. I overlay, you know, Facebook stock to see, you know, the option, where did the option go in pricing? You know, what was the option priced at when the stock was priced at a certain level, you know, so on and so forth. But so let's go here, you know, it's all in your studies. We're gonna clear, uh, remove all studies. So this is, you're gonna get a blank chart. So if ever you guys need to remember how to do that, but now go to trade uh, and then all products if you're on anything else, but go to the option. So what option do we have pulled up? And I'm gonna show them side by side on E-Trade. Uh, let's say, we'll just go right here. I like the 167.50 March 15th contract. So March 15th, where is it 6750 call and then again you know if you guys as you see the option chains are a little different from e-trade to whatnot and i you i get familiar for all you beginner traders you guys could use any platform and i even say you know paper trade on thinkorswim and get a good idea but simply here it is the 16750 you're going to click the option uh there you go and then right click on it i'm on a mac so it's command click but then you'll see here, send FB, you know, that's the literal, the abbreviation that they give for the option. It's saying, you know, 19th of March, 15th, call 167. Send that to red. Now, the color is gonna be dependent on what you have your chart set at. I have this chart set at red. So this is exactly the same as E-Trade, you know, cause E-Trade, if you ever wanted to pull this up, maybe I should have told that here, you press the link, you see I'm linked on three, link on three, link on three. So anything I click is gonna go to chart three. It's the same thing on Thinkorswim, just colors. They don't have anything to audit, you know, the only thing that this lacks on Thinkorswim is the ability to automatically click and set it up where you could do that. However, if you wanted to make a whole chart page, you I, I believe you could, it's in, you know, it just, uh, uh, it takes a few more steps to do it, but you know, you're always gonna have to do, you know, you could set it up automatically, but you're always gonna have to do the whole send symbol to this 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 so and again you see it put that up there i go back to the option chain but we have it up here so that's simply how it's done uh that's for you thinkorswim guys if you ever are worried on how to send it there up see now i, I put facebook so i got to do it again just even then for you guys to get another idea ah where is it oh wrong button command click send to red and we're gonna get that here so now let's see the studies uh i need a remove all studies because i believe that was facebook over it again so again that's removing all studies this is how it looks so compare that to this so and again you got to adjust the time frame so here i have the same one day one minute it's actually the same exact chart as this so let me go one day one minute um take off extended hours and boom it looks uh pretty much exactly the same uh let me make this smaller so you guys could see but yeah, there it is. Uh, obviously, depending on the scale of your chart, literally for your graphics card or your screen, you know, it looks different, but it's monitoring the exact same thing. You're seeing the same print 1141 was at our bottom. Um, right here. Oh, wait. Oh, this is on Pacific time. See, so this is giving me the Pacific time. So that would be what three o'clock. Yeah, there you go. So 118. Yeah, exactly. You're getting you're getting the same prints. You have the volume down here. It is exactly the same. So now to do the next step um, of what we want to overlay Facebook, right? So this is the next thing I do on Thinkorswim and how to get that done. You go to studies, add study, 
compare with and then custom symbol so now we add Facebook and you could even um, what's it called edit study comparison see what's it comparison style line candle that's to make it look like a candlestick and boom you now have the exact same thing on thinkorswim so when you guys are paper trading everything this is how you do it so again a little bit more clicking in a process but uh, i think i'll make another follow-up to how to get it done with literally set well i already have it done you guys so that's why i'm like if you guys want the condensed version wait on it but if you actually go through you could uh, search on youtube the trading fraternity thinkorswim tutorial uh brendan one of our experts made it and it's actually really really good and in depth and he goes over you know a sick setup uh and i think we even have the, i might have to release that the downloadable whole we have a whole platform setup you could download for it so i uh, i need to get that for him so you guys could have it but yeah that's pretty much it so now let's talk about the key with all of this and understanding it you know i'm gonna go back to my e-trade it's more, more simpler but the first thing is comparing the option price to when the stock so you could even see okay stock was hitting a new high here again or it was going up it was at the same price but the option was you know dramatically lower and you could kind of see iv in effect and look you know the stock at one point when it was trading at 161 the op this option was worth 143 it's down at 132 you know that's one way to look at it but now if any of you guys know, here's just a little trick I want. You know, this is the best benefit of the option pricing. It's not just comparing it, but why you would want this tool is when you look at the daily, you know, you could pull this up on a daily chart. You could use a hundred day. It really depends. And, and, you know, here's one thing. You see how this option says 167.50 and it doesn't have too big of a history on it. That's because as the stock was moving, they added a $2.50 increment. Otherwise, it was only going, you know, five dollars or whatever it may have been at the time but you'll if you go to like one of the solid numbers like 165 you'll notice it has a full price history but now here's the best part because a lot of people sometimes when they're buying options they're not really aware of the relative pricing they don't you know they're like oh is this a cheap option you know a lot of people ask me is this a cheap option an expense expensive option uh, is it underpriced overpriced but in, in this case you know how do you get an idea without knowing what it was trading for so a lot of people get caught up in options where you know they might have you know uh, let me see the worst case is probably like a let me go to khc you know this is a play i'm looking at next week as well but like looking at the puts you could see the price history on this thing you know obviously it's up 3300 percent but clearly you know this was 10 cents six cents and now it's going for a dollar seventy it's you know the stock had a big underlying move but then there's things like implied volatility or let me actually go to roku uh that's another one that had you know and it sucks using these as, as examples because they've had you know huge underlying increases but even then you could see what relatively yeah it's telling you the percentage but you could see okay how much was i paying over the day before and then also any other time in its past when the stock was ripping what was the option going for when it was at this certain price so that's kind of the gist of it hopefully that makes sense for you guys um and and that is the the best part i'd say interpreting it at the basic level uh let me actually leave you guys with the last tip for it because with any of these options you know try at, at any level this is what we say on the stream you know you want to buy when the option is cheapest these are all designed to go to zero so quite frankly this is why i'm looking you know you don't want to be the guy buying up here if you look at any option chart over history that guy, you you know, it comes down uh, usually, and, and you know, there's a small instance statistically, I think about less than 20% or about less than 30% that actually end and stay up where they went. So looking at it in a perspective, though, you always want to be the guy buying at the bottom. That's how I buy my real estate. That's how I buy anything. You know, I try to be the guy buying it at a cheaper price. Now, obviously, sometimes prices go up, and if you want to get your hand in the cookie jar, as I call it. You're going to pay a little bit of premium, but this is a good way to watch yourself. Like I always say, you know, if you want to buy your calls, you know, don't buy your calls when the stock is going up again, like Roku. Now's not a good time to buy the calls when they're when it's literally up at its highest point. You don't want to be this guy, you know, pretty much if you want to buy calls, you should want to get Roku when it starts coming down here again, the calls you wanted up here are, are is what you should be going and vice versa on the puts. Now, you know, if you if you wanted puts a few days ago coming into the Roku earnings, it's not that you forget it just because it went up. Now's your chance and you have a way better chance statistically with these options of getting it a lot cheaper. And even then you could see how much of the value it's actually held relatively, you know, so on and so forth. So 
I will leave that there now. Uh, hopefully this makes sense and, I, and I'm gonna have now these ending screens. You guys can come click any of the most recent videos we have here or subscribe to the live streaming channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you are new. I love you, have a wonderful weekend and I got another video coming for you. So yeah.